Hello everybody, my name is Evan, founder and CEO of Gentatech, and in this video, we're going to look at how to add multi-factor authentication to your 1Password app using the 1Password desktop application to any platform uh, that you may be authenticating to. In this particular example, we're going to be authenticating to Zoom, and it'll be the same for whatever um, uh, platform you're authenticating to. So you want to reach a state in that platform where you're setting up an authenticator app, and then you usually see this QR code, which I'm sure that you've seen before. So one password has a built-in functionality. We'll click edit here and then we and then to add that we'll click uh, add more and then we'll click one time password. So they have a built-in functionality here to be able to scan this QR code for you. If you just click scan QR code, one password will read your screen and then attempt to uh, pick up the information from that QR code and populate it right here for you, okay? So you just click the button and you'll click save and you'll click next here and you'll be good to go. What I want to do is also show you the alternative way, just in case that doesn't work for whatever reason. We can always click, I can't scan this QR code. And you'll have this option on every platform you're authenticating to. So we'll just go ahead and click that, and then you'll get a secret key here. Okay, We'll go ahead and copy the secret key, and then we will go ahead and paste. This secret key is extremely important. Never, ever, ever let anybody see it under any circumstance. For these videos, we always generate something and then immediately tear it down. We want to be able to have you see everything so you know what to expect. But please keep in mind, if you share your secret key, this is called your MFA seed. Somebody will be able to duplicate that, and then they'll just have a duplicate of your uh, multi-factor authentication mechanism. So, so make sure you don't do that, okay? So we'll click Save here, and then you see this one-time password code generated on a timer. We will click Next here, and then we'll go ahead and authenticate here with this one-time password, okay? Verify, and we're all set up and good to go. So that is exactly what that will look like. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at info at Appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.